Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our review of the Bear Dynamics T1 second generation. These are semi-open headphones from Bear Dynamics. Now they retail for $1,099 and you're going to say, whoa, 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 Thunder E, that's expensive. Well, these are for the audiophile, but also I have to tell you exactly why these are so good and worth that price. So first off, what you have here are headphones that come with a five-year warranty. So you're getting uh, good warranty coverage for this. Now you've got high quality materials on this uh, headphones, really solid, soft and supple feel altogether. You've got premium leather on the very top, very comfortable. So when you actually wear these headphones, they don't feel like uh, it's you know cheap leather. It feels really soft in your head because these are your sit down listening headphones. You want to feel very comfortable using them. Uh, the ear cups also are very soft and comfortable. Uh, and uh, you've got some nice uh, spacious uh, surrounders around those ear cups. Now, the connection cables are 3.5 mm jack you've also got a 6.35 uh, adapter and you have two cables that come into each individual ear cups now the ear cups you can see how they are slanted in between in um, the drivers to give you to basically channel the sound directly into your ears and trust me when we get to the audio aspect of this i can tell you how good these things actually sound now they're handcrafted in germany so you can expect uh some really good craftsmanship from this now the cable of course is quite long uh, these are listening headphones so you can expect uh, a, a nice cable length. To, so if you're listening to something from your turntable or uh, you know using an amplifier for you know that's at a distance, you can connect them easily and sit down comf comfortably on your couch and listen to your music. So this is where, of course, the connectors go to the headphones. The two separate line connectors to each ear cup, and then of course it goes down to a 3.5 mm jack or that 6.35 millimeter uh, jack cable. The high impedance of these headphones are 600 ohms. Now, in terms of just pure technical specs here, like I said, they're wired, the semi-open, which means, of course, you can still hear some of your surrounding. It does come with this really cool uh, carrying case, uh, which, of course, is a hard shell case. You can place your headphones there, put your wires, close them down, and take along with you. The one problem with the case, of course, it does attract dust quite easily. Now, in terms of the headphone frequency, it goes from 5 to 50,000 hertz, and the nominal, nominal sound pressure level is 102 decibels. Of course, now it's time for the moment of truth. I have the T1 second generation plugged into my turntable via the amplifier, which is the A20 from Bear Dynamics, which of course is absolutely really good. But I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about the sound and the audio quality you get from these headphones. It's hard to describe how well the headphones sound in terms of just the pure awesomeness. Now, uh, this gives you very rich, Filling sound in terms of this overall audio. Um, I enjoy, of course, as you can see, it was in front of my uh, my record player. I enjoy using this, uh, listening to my vinyls because you hear everything. You hear the impurities, you hear the breath, you hear the steps by the musicians as they, they walk around on stage. If it's, if it's live or even if they're in studio, you get every ounce of sound in here and it's, and it's amazing. It's rich, it's clean, it's almost pure. I say almost just because nothing is actually perfect, but I have to say the depths and levels they've gone with these headphones have gone a long way. Now in terms of comfort, they are very comfortable. They rest on your ears and you can see they actually don't hug or pinch around, which is great. Again, the amount of money you're spending for this, they have to be comfortable, they should be comfortable, they better be comfortable. Now, the one thing I'll mention I'm not the biggest fan of is the cabling. You can see it here already tangling up. Um, that is the one thing they need to change or at least um, um, have uh, options for because of course, you can pull these out and swap out the cable. So that's something to take note. And again, the cable is long enough uh, where I can sit back, my record player is right there, sit and relax and enjoy my music. So that's what I enjoy from the Bear Dynamics T1. These are absolutely fantastic headphones that I will recommend for anyone who's really looking to step up their, um, their audio game, so to speak. If you're looking to move to the next level in terms of audio, getting that rich sound, that clean focus, 
that almost spiritual blend with yourself and the music, this is the right way to go. This is the steps that you need to take, um, especially for open back uh, headphones. They do a very good job where you, you get all the sound in, but you can still hear things around you. So of course you can hear people, you know, you can hear maybe someone trying to call you, but that doesn't interfere with how you listen to your music. So I definitely recommend it. Yes, I'm an audiophile and this have a place in the headphone wall, but I, they are both the best suited for me right next to my record player because I can pick them up and listen and enjoy. So if you guys have any questions about the Bear Dynamic T1 headphones, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, do subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.